What up everybody? My name is Mary and you are watching To Inspire Vlog. <laughs> Again, um, this is Blake Batilos. Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and your company is Akira Akira Wealth, Wealth. right? Akira Wealth. And how exactly uh, did you guys come up with Akira Wealth? So I've been involved in real estate, and Akira Wealth actually means like the, the slogan for my business is called Accurate Path to Real Estate Wealth, and I just made it short to Accure Wealth. So that's. <laughs> That's what the name came from. Yeah, okay. That's awesome. From the slogan. Yeah. yeah. And what exactly do you guys do at Akira Wealth? It has to do with real estate, but what yes. kind of real estate do you guys deal with? So I'm a real estate entrepreneur. Um, I, Akira Wealth is my company based here in Calgary, Alberta. So we specialize in flipping houses um, here. And in addition to that, um, I work as well with homeowners now. So I'm pretty much involved in any real estate so like homeowners now we help people get into homeownership achieve their dream of homeownership by doing rent to own and i have partners as well we do short-term rentals in the states in arizona mm -hmm. and by doing this um real estate um we were able to provide opportunities for investors to you know make some money as well by investing that's awesome yeah yeah and then so um, I know there's a lot of uh, ways or paths to entrepreneurship. Why exactly did you choose real estate out of everything? Yeah, great question. So I chose real estate. Um, I got influenced through a book mm -hmm. called Rich Dad Poor Dad mm -hmm. and being surrounded with, with people as well. Most of the people I know made their wealth in real estate mm -hmm. and I just started networking with people and it usually involves real estate. So that's when I believe that, okay, there's something about real estate <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that um, people are involved in, in, you know, most of the, you know, lots of people I know mm -hmm. um, made their wealth there. So yeah. uh, that's when I start to believe that really there's money in real estate. Okay, awesome. And I'm guessing you've achieved success, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. And how long have you been uh, doing this? Like, can you tell us your story? Uh, what was your background before and then sure. your path? Um, before real estate, I was a pharmacy technician. Mm -hmm. um, I was studying pharmacy, become, I was going to become a pharmacist back in the Philippines. And we came here 2012. Um, I was going to be a, um, I was, I was studying, I was going to be a pharmacist here, but ended up being a pharmacy technician. So that's really my background in the science field. and. And um, before real estate, mm -hmm. and that's when I, and I left pharmacy just last year, uh, November, when I started full time in real estate. But I've been doing real estate for two and a half years, so I was doing um, real estate as a side hustle when about um, half, about two years ago, mm -hmm. and just half of the year I'm doing full time real estate now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So it's really about how uh, the people that you know, right? It's really the people you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so networking. That's how we met him too, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the meetups. <right. laughs> what do you find was your biggest challenge and what did you learn from it? The biggest challenge is really is really um, getting into it, into like scaling it mm -hmm. um, in, in real estate. So the... and. It's because of the also the credibility, because mm -hmm. um, as a young guy as well, um, I had trouble with that mm -hmm. in terms of like, real estate. Really needs a lot of cash, needs a lot of money to invest in. So, <clears throat> so having credibility when you're just starting was a really really hard um, was a challenge. Mm -hmm. So the way you learn from it is really just um, having a mentor, mm -hmm. right? and investing in a mentor or a coach really help you accelerate and increase your credibility mm -hmm. in doing um, deals in real estate okay and because um, i've made some mistakes too when i was starting in real estate and i've learned so much from it to the point then that i had to have a mentor mm -hmm. now i work with four coaches and mentors in this business nice. and by doing that as well like partner 
networking also helps you mm -hmm. to um, be around with people yeah. who are in the same business and give yeah. you advice. So that's true. So like it's it that's it's more of the the people that you work with mm -hmm. that's that matters. Okay, and you say like being a young entrepreneur investor, right? Like, can you let them know how old you are? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Is that personal? <laughs> yeah, sure. I, 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 I'm 25 years old. 25. So yeah. you started when you were 23? 20, 22? Yeah, yeah 20, turning 23. 23, yeah. yeah. So that's fairly that's young, probably, right? Like, that's when it really like started. Mm -hmm. 22, I was kind of thinking about it. Yeah, like, yeah. should I do it? Yeah. Should I not? <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Because you're so young and yet you have like all this experience and yeah. like you're going to be like probably mentoring other people too down the road, right? Is that oh, like yeah, something you'd sure. want to do? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. The good, the the way you could um, give back to people is really share it mm -hmm. to what you've achieved, right? Yeah, like sharing yeah. your blessings type yeah. thing. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. How important is it knowing your why? Oh, it's really important. It's mm -hmm. kind of like your foundation, actually, mm -hmm. to why you started mm -hmm. doing what you're doing, mm -hmm. and your why is basically the end result you do want to have. Mm -hmm. You're doing it for maybe for your family you want something that your family deserves mm -hmm. and it's more it's your driving um driving factor that mm -hmm. you know what why you do what you do yeah how so, do you how do you keep yourself motivated is that your why it's your yeah, yeah. create a vision um your why is really your vision mm -hmm. right so having that why is really important as a foundation because at some point you're gonna lose motivation True. but if you see why you're doing it why you started if you go back to it then that you know why you're doing it then you, that use that as a tool yeah. to achieve your goal mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that's what I would, that's that's why it's really important do you want to share your why sure yeah um, <laughs> my why is really for my family mm -hmm. um, it's for my my parents and for the future of my my, my family mm -hmm. right so I really want to retire my parents they they came here as an immigrant so they came um, here with without without money so mm -hmm. for them the the they they are worrying about the retirement so for me the why is really help them with their retirement so that because until now they're still working mm -hmm. right so um, I want them to retire sooner yeah. and have a, and for my future family too I want them to have a good life provide what they need yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's like R Y two. That's pretty good. Actually. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and what are your plans for twenty nineteen in your business? Sure. Um, my plan for twenty nineteen is to scale it more. Okay. Right. So we have an Airbnb business in the states, so we we pick up properties there, and um, that's kind of like the focus right now mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. to scale it. Um, even more in you know maybe top 50% of the states in the wow. US and and here in, in Alberta scale more about um, do deals in, in flipping so I wanna my goal this year was to do 12 flips but um, it's yeah but it's it's getting it. it's, it's tough but I know it's you know watching the market that's where you really don't know your market yeah so yeah. Like, We'll see how it goes in the next year, mm -hmm. um, but we'll not, I'll not stop flipping houses for sure. Um, there's still opportunities here in Alberta, mm -hmm. and um, yeah. Do you enjoy flipping houses? Cause like it's a lot of work, right? It is a lot of work, <laughs> but you that's the the thing. You have to have a, a team that yeah. will help you, and um, that's pretty much it. I have three projects right now, so mm -hmm. it's more, it's more, it's a lot of work. But um, with the team that's with you, mm -hmm. it's. The people you work with yeah yeah it makes it, it it makes it easier yeah and i guess like if you do it like consistently then you have like an idea of yeah. how it's going to go and it'll get easier and easier right, right? yeah and i want to help more people get into homeownership too because mm -hmm. i i will also work with homeowners now a rent on company yeah uh, set as a set as a successful manager so by doing that, I tend to help more people get into homeownership mm -hmm. and achieve their dreams. So we know what your goal is for 2019. What is your ultimate, like, final goal, like, from doing all of this? I want to go 
really don't tire early. Yeah. So like, <laughs> Maybe when I get 40. Yeah, right? 40. Like earlier than that, maybe 35. Yeah. So, like, my goal is really to travel the world. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, by doing this, should be able to do that. Yeah. Travel the world and have financial freedom. Yeah. That's great. That's the ultimate goal. Yeah. Like more people, because <laughs> that way I should be, um, we are able to provide more um, help to charity programs uh -huh. and start giving back to the community. Yeah. Do you tend to, like, when you set your goals or your dreams, do you set, do you tend to set them high or set realistic goals? That's very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> That's very interesting. So, in terms of the goals, you kind of have to have um, a balance. Mm -hmm. So, you have you have that goal, like a big goal. Mm -hmm. It's more like a vision, I would say, right? Yeah. So like, you have that goal, and you break it down mm -hmm. to a more realistic goal. Mm -hmm. That's how I would, um, I would, I would put it. Mm -hmm. And you just, I know about you. Know, I don't know if you guys know about Grant Cardone. I've been reading his book. Um, it's more about putting all your effort mm -hmm. into those goals you have mm -hmm. to achieve it. So like the small realistic goals to achieve the bigger vision. That's right. Right. Okay. Yeah. And give it all. Mm -hmm. Give it all. Give it your all. Yeah. Yeah. Then next. Um, what advice do you have for people who want to start out? Um, my advice to people who want to start out is really to start. What's, what's that? You really need to start. Really need to start? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's that easy. It, I know that there are maybe some fears that you know people want to start out. Um, I know that it will be kind of tough, mm -hmm. but have taking action is really the the way to get your get you um, to to get ahead. Mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. taking action, um, and that's how you will learn. And yeah. That's how you get ahead. Okay. And do you think that's what separates people who are successful um, in business or? Uh, between successful and those who fail is just starting that's right yeah just taking action yeah just taking action hey? taking action is is really the way to go because if no action really nothing happens mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you're not gonna learn um, you have to have to get out of, out of your comfort zone true mm -hmm. and that's the way you grow that's true yeah right yeah mm -hmm. yeah you kind of just have to leap for it I <laughs> hope for the best <laughs> you kind of have a plan for sure like yeah. know what you want to do yeah and well that's the life of entrepreneur too um it's more like a trial and error if it does, if something doesn't work try another thing mm -hmm. just the only thing that um you fail is when you quit mm -hmm. sure if you give up then you fail that's it hey but if you keep moving forward something will Sure. Something will come up. Mm -hmm. Is this the only like real estate? The only business that you've like the path that you've yeah. gone through? Yeah, that's really good, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got lucky because some people like they try different things and then it fails and then they try something else. You know. Yeah, well, that's, um, <laughs> until you find something that works mm -hmm. really for mm -hmm. you, right? Yeah. Because not, not real estate is for everyone too, right? So Yes. Yeah. Right. So it's good that you found it like first try. So what is your favorite um, business book and what's your favorite like go-to book? Because entrepreneurs, book. yeah, they love to read, so. <laughs> I would recommend um, 10X. 10X? By Grant Cardone. Okay. That's more on motivation, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on how you can move forward, how you can give all give all for for the business mm -hmm. and think and grow rich think you rich that's yeah. your go-to book or yeah yeah so what is that one about that one is all about motivation as well uh -huh. about about your mindset mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in in the business how you would think um how entrepreneurs think um by how to become wealthy mm -hmm. that one is by Napo it's napoleon. napoleon hill right yeah, yeah. Awesome book. Yeah, I remember that book. That was a good book. Yeah, yeah that's what and Rich Dad Poor Dad too. Yeah, that's, that's really what um, what influenced me to become an entrepreneur. Yeah, Rich Dad Poor Dad teach you a lot about four different ways of making money, mm -hmm. 
I'm not gonna share everything about the book, but I recommend it. Yeah, yeah, it's actually funny because the people that we've interviewed previously, yeah. they always say that's how they started off. <laughs> it's rich dad, poor dad. <laughs> so dad, poor dad. That's how we started off too. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. It's very popular. <laughs> it is. It's popular. That's what like I guess uh, like clicks people's minds to change their their uh, mindset. It's easy to read. Anybody can read it. Even mm -hmm. um, a young young um, guy can read it. Yeah. Ten year old. Actually, another question, if you don't mind me asking, because um, usually when um, in, with every entrepreneur, there's like something that happens to them that yeah. it's like a turning point. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like um, there's like a turning point where you decide that you want to do something like you you want to go chase right. after your dreams you want to become an entrepreneur do you have like that turning point moment yes once you experience the pain mm -hmm. it's really the pain that really kicks your kick your ass yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah yeah it's really the pain so yeah once you feel that pain and that's that's when you said i'm over this mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i gotta do something mm -hmm. That's really the turning point. Yeah, yeah that's that, true. what you have there. So for me, it's more when it happened when I was in the university, mm -hmm. and since we came here, we're always struggling with as an with money. Mm -hmm. You know, as an immigrant, we didn't have much. We had to start from scratch. Mm -hmm. um, in the Philippines, we had good life for sure. Like, yeah. Um, it like we have nanny. Yeah. We have, <laughs> you have driver. <laughs> Coming here is a very different life, and then that's when we struggle with money. Mm -hmm. And we, I work at McDonald's. My parents work a minimum wage to kind mm -hmm. of survive, and we did that for two years. And then after that, we got well off because my mom got a job in oil and gas. Oh, nice. And I was able to go to university mm -hmm. you know he she's she was supporting me and when the oil crash mm -hmm. came then then that's when it really hurt yeah, right? yeah and then i came i went back to calgary to to real estate yeah. and that was really the pain because i saw my parents really suffering yeah and wh where was this you guys were in here here in Canada. in calgary in Cal yeah they were in calgary i was yeah. in sas Saskatoon, Saskatoon. Okay. For my during my university, mm -hmm. and I was there for two years, mm -hmm. and and after that, I went back to Calgary to yeah. to help them, mm -hmm. and yeah, that was really the pain. And then, it I see them struggling, mm -hmm. so I had to. That's when the time when that okay, this is it's happening. Yeah, what yeah. I read from the book, wish that poor dad. Yeah, There's yeah. no really no security in in being an employee yeah because that's what so, we we learned right that's what right. we were told when we were younger like you need to get a good job go to school <laughs> yep. and you'll be set for life but really it's not always the case yeah it's so. not always the case mm -hmm. so you gotta have control mm -hmm. um you gotta have um, financial freedom mm -hmm. true yeah yeah and it's crazy because you were from you were born in philippines right yeah. And you came here and like you're pursuing your dream and you're becoming successful and it's it's awesome to see those type of stories because you know sometimes like we have like a lot of stories where you don't really know the people's backgrounds until like you ask them yeah sometimes like they come off from like a well-off family and then they're already rich and then that's how they have success but it's it's nice to know like other people's backgrounds and their stories and how they struggle to get to where they are yeah yeah. So that's awesome. Thanks for and sharing that. And you can learn a lot from those people too. Yeah, like yeah. There's tons of people out there um, that are successful who have been, mm -hmm. um, had dark past. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. And it's good to learn from, from those people too. Yeah, that's true. It's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for sharing your Thank story. You. We kind of already touched on what sets apart successful entrepreneurs versus those who fail or give up. Do you want to touch on anything? Any other advice there? Or? Sure. Um, my advice is really to um, focus focus on your your dream of what whatever it is mm -hmm. and always fight for it mm -hmm. because, because there's so much opportunities out there. Mm -hmm. And, That's true. and um, 
don't try to limit yourself or be a victim. You gotta fight for what you what you want in life, mm -hmm. and opportunities will come for you. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome advice. <laughs> and for those people that are interested in what you do and want to get in touch with you, how can they do that? Um, I can be reach out. Um, I'm on Facebook. It's called uh, just find my name, Peter Blake Petilos. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we'll have like a link and everything down sure. below. <laughs> or um, if you can, you can visit my website to acurewealth.com. Mm -hmm. So if that's just to like learn more or get in, uh, in touch with him for deals or stuff like that. Yes. Right? Yeah. yeah. Or, or anything. Anything about a, um, in the business or you need help of something, I can maybe connect you with someone that I know. Mm -hmm. I have the, I have, I'm pretty much connected as well. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, reach yeah. out. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, reach out to Blake, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just want to thank you to Inspire Me and Joe um, for coming on our channel today and You're sharing welcome. your story. And, uh, I really what appreciate ahead. it. Yeah, thank you so much. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video and want to watch more of it, uh, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, guys. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>